You are listening to a 31 Pearls production audiobook. All rights are reserved. No part of this video or audio may be reproduced. Fragments from the Coptic, Testament of Solomon The following are fragments from the Testament of Solomon that have been preserved in the Coptic, Nag Hammadi Library. Evidence for the existence of a Coptic Testament of Solomon is supported by the fact that Solomon is mentioned in three other treatises from that library. The First Fragment As part of the text of On the Origin of the World 106-107 Quote, Then since death was androgynous, he mixed with his nature and begot seven androgynous sons. These are the names of the males. Jealousy, wrath, weeping, sighing, mourning, lamenting, tearful groaning. And these are the names of the females. Wrath, grief, lust, sighing, cursing, bitterness, quarrelsomeness. They had intercourse with one another, and each one begot seven, so that they totaled forty-nine androgynous demons. Their names and their functions you will find in the Book of Solomon. End quote. Fragment 2 is from the Apocalypse of Adam, 78 to 79. Quote, the fourth kingdom says of him that he came from a virgin. Solomon sought her, he and Fersalo and Saul, and his armies which had been sent out. Solomon himself sent his army of demons to seek out the virgin. And they did not find the one whom they sought, but the virgin who was given to them. It was she whom they fetched. Solomon took her. The virgin became pregnant and gave birth to the child there. End quote. The third fragment. From the second treatise of the great Seth, 63. Quote, Solomon was a laughingstock, since he thought that he was Christ, having become vain through the Hebdomad, as if he had become stronger than I and my brothers but we are innocent with respect to him. I have not sinned. End quote. And the fourth fragment, from the Testimony of Truth, 70. Quote. Others have demons dwelling with them, as did David the king. He is the one who laid the foundation of Jerusalem. And his son Solomon, whom he begat in adultery, is the one who built Jerusalem, by means of the demons, because he received their powers. When he had finished building, he imprisoned the demons in the temple. He placed them in seven water pots. They remained a long time in the water pots, abandoned there. When the Romans went up to Jerusalem, they discovered the water pots, and immediately the demons ran out of the water pots, as those who escaped from prison. And the water pots remained pure thereafter. And since those days, they dwell with men who are in ignorance, and they have remained upon the earth. Who, then, is David, and who is Solomon? End quote. End of Fragments from the Coptic Testament of Solomon, a 31 Pearls production. Please comment, like, and subscribe.